Welcome to the Straight Park Connection. This is Tommy. Uh, this video is on your November 7th Smackdown episode. Uh, former referee Nick Patrick turned 48 years old while Chris Jericho turned 47. Uh, it's the only birthday I got for uh, November 7th. Uh, WB is a wonderful soap opera sometimes, both in front and behind the camera. Real life relationships that may never see the light of day can happen behind the scenes, but it still might cause some awkwardness in the end. Liv Morgan, uh, Liv Morgan and Enzo Amore are no longer a couple, and it certainly looked like that she had her eyes on another WWE superstar, former WWE United States champion Tyler Bate. Nothing absolutely official has been announced between the two, but a lot of fans speculate Morgan and Bate are currently an item. If anything, their flirting on Twitter is adorable. Things got pr uh, pretty awkward on 205 Live. This week when Enzo Amore defeated Tyler Bate, if you're reading, if you're uh, watching this video, obviously you've seen the show, or just trying to find out results. But I'm glad you're uh, viewing it, but uh, here we go. Before, before it uh, uh, went live on air on November the 7th, <coughs> They have an invented time travel. It's uh, just pre-taped because they've already filmed the show in Manchester. So it was done as a spoiler. Uh, Alia tweeted out uh, this little note to Liv Morgan. And many people are under the assumption that it has something to do with the current WWE Cruiserweight White Champion defeating the first ever WWE United Kingdom Champion. But more importantly, the context of the story, Liv Morgan's ex defeating her current boyfriend, wrestling is fun, huh? <coughs> According to BW Insider, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have both been sent home after uh, the SmackDown tapings. Their report could not be confirmed, a, a reason why, but did say that they both were sent back to the United States. According to a report by Sports Illustrated, Vince McMahon approved the decision to send them home after going into business for themselves during their on-air time on SmackDown. It was said that they were sent home for conduct deemed detrimental to the WWE. And you can see their segment in the video above. Both Zayn and Owens are involved in, in Team Raw vs. Team SmackDown storyline as outcasts on, on the SmackDown roster. But at this point, neither are are in a match at Survivor Series in October. Kevin Owens had to leave the South American WWE Tour due to, uh, to his family issues that are apparently not now resolved. Well, on, on SmackDown, AJ Styles was able to defeat, defeat Jinder Mahal to win the WWE title. Mahal was scheduled to face Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, and some could consider this a bit of a last-minute change with the title. On his Instagram, Jinder Mahal addressed not only AJ Styles, but shut down any rumors of him being injured or violating the WWE wellness policy. Two at AJ Styles P1, you were the better man for one night. Six months I held the hashtag WWE Championship, defended countless times all over the world. I will one day raise the title again. To my haters and wrestling insiders, this is not an experiment. I am not injured. I have not violated wellness policy. So keep throwing shade my way. It only motivates me. Well, WWE Champion AJ Styles will now face Universal Champion Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series on November 19th. Mahal's role on, WWE, on the pay-per-view remains to be seen. Right along with WWE Network featuring the Hardys in one car and Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas in another car. There was a preview but I did not get the video for that. It's hard, hardy thing if I ever fall in love again by Shy. How do you pronounce the Shay? There will be a WrestleMania 34 on sale party at the Mercedes Benz Superdome, filled in New Orleans on Thursday, November 16th at 5:30 local time. This will take place one night before WrestleMania 34 tickets go on sale to the general public. The party is free and open to the public. Featuring autograph signings, live WWE NXT matches, and more. Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, Rhino, Heath Slater, Charlotte Flair, Mark Henry, and Mickey James are being advertised to appear. 
And you can register for an event. And I did not. Yes, I did. I got a link somewhere on here. Yeah, there is. Don't miss your chance at this link here. WrestleMania tickets go until early. Is it registered for the WrestleMania on sale party? And SmackDown opened up with a video package for the main event. I didn't get any dark match uh, results for that. For this week, uh, Tom Phillips welcomed us to the Manchester Arena for SmackDown in Manchester Arena. He's joined in by Byron Sixers and Corey Graves. They run down the matches. We go to the ring out first comes SmackDown Commissioner Shane McMahon to a pop. Shane welcomed us and plugged Survivor Series, saying this will be the last time that Raw can claim that they are the A show. Shane goes on and says he holds the Raw General Manager Kurt Angle and Raw Commissioner Stephanie McMahon responsible for Kane attacking SmackDown General Manager Daniel Bryan last week. Shane tells Angle to hear him out. This is personal. He will be standing across from Angle at Survivor Series to get payback for what happened to Bryan. Shane says Bryan isn't here tonight, but he will be back next week. Shane talks about the New Day appearing on Raw last, last night. He said he then introduces Big E, Xavier Woods, and Kobe Kingston as we see how they distracted Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, allowing for the bar to win the Raw Taxi titles. Kobe says they didn't intend for the titles to change hands, but those are the consequences of putting Raw under siege. Woods mocks uh, Rollins and Ambrose, saying they won't do anything. They go on and say they are fully ready to take what they have coming for what happened last night. And they will beat the red brand superstars back to Raw if they come for payback. Shane ends up dancing with the New Day. Music interrupts and out comes Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to the stage. Owens says that they were the, that was the stupidest thing that they've ever seen. Sami says he hates to break it to Shane, but Shane is not cool and probably should never dance again. Kofi mocks Sammy for the dancing he does in, in his entrance. Sammy and Owens go on about how they could, could have done better at Raw. Shane says that their attitudes are why they aren't representing Team Blue at Survivor Series. Sammy and Owens both complain about the qualifying matches they lost. Owens says it's a shame that they had to qualify because they are the top two superstars on the roster. Owens calls the New Day puppets. Kofi knocks Sammy and Owens, as does Big E. Sammy says it would be funny when Team SmackDown loses at Survivor Series and they have to have have Shane to blame. They go on with, with more talking until Shane announces Sammy versus Kofi. The match is up next. We go to commercial and Sammy walks to the ring. Kofi, Kofi versus Sammy can be found at this link. At least highlights. Back and forth start the match after the break as the match kicked off. Kofi ends up nailing a big drop kick that Sammy, that sends Sammy out of the ring. Sammy took a breather and then chatted with Owens as Woods played Francesca to get the fans riled up. Sammy uh, really takes his time coming back in. Kofi brings the fight out to Sammy, out, but Sammy runs back in. Kofi chases him, but Sammy atta attacks and enters. Sammy with a big clothesline to turn Kofi inside out. Owens talks trash to Kofi as Sammy keeps control. Kobe gets back up and delivers a big shot to Sammy that sends him back back out of the ring. We go to the commercial with Sammy trying to recover on the floor. Back from the ring, Kobe sends Sammy back out of the ring. Kobe then launches himself onto Sammy with some unique offense. Kobe brings it back into the ring but ha has an SOS count counter but still manages a two count. Sammy blocks trouble in paradise and hits the blue thunder bomb for a close two count. Owens gets the referee for the count. Sammy goes for a halluva kick, but Kobe counters with, with a kick for himself. More back and forth is for, uh, between the two. Sammy takes Kobe down, but Kobe comes right back and goes, for, goes to the corner. Kobe nails a cross, crossbody for the win. After Bell, Kevin Owens immediately hits the ring to attack Kobe, but Big E and Zombie Woods made the save. Owens hits the ramp. They call Sammy over as Woods and Big E check on Kobe. The New Day music hits. Then that segment. Then we see uh, WWE Champion General Hall and the Singh Brothers attacking AJ from last week. We, which is why AJ has the title shot tonight. We go backstage to Renee Young with Jinder and the Singh Brothers. Jinder calls AJ the appetizer to the entree. That is WWE Universal Champion Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. Jinder goes on and says he will make a meal out of AJ tonight. And then he will feast on the beast at Survivor Series as Jinder walks off. 
Joe Lacombe segment, James Ellsworth versus Becky Lynch. Also, Rusev versus Randy Orton. Rusev will get the fi final ta team SmackDown spot if he wins. We go to commercial. Back from the break, we get a new vignette for Eric Rowe and Luke Harper as the Bludgeon Brothers. Rusev versus Randy Orton. We'll find at this link. Highlights. We go to the ring and we get Greg Hamilton introducing Aiden English, who asks Manchester to be silent as he introduces the Lion, the lion of Bulgaria. English signs the introduction, or sings the introduction as Rusev makes his way out. Rusev will get the final team SmackDown spot if he wins his match. Randy Orton without next. Bell rings and Rusev goes for a kick, but Orton goes for RKO. Rusev drops Orton with a kick to the head for a two count to start the match. Rusev with two more pin attempts. We go to commercial with Rusev working over Orton. Back from the break, Rusev keeps Orton down. A Rusev day starts off with Aiden English uh, starting it off. We see Shane, Bobby Roode, and Shisuke Nakamura watching backstage. Orton tries to fight back, but Rusev keeps him grounded. Rusev with another pin attempt. We get dueling chance on the crowd. Rusev drops knees on Orton and covers for a two count. Rusev shows some frustration now. Rusev with a big kick to the back and another pin attempt for a two count. And then another, and then another pin attempt by Rusev. Rusev argues with the referee. And then walks, up, walks over, but Orton leaps up and nails the RKO out of nowhere for the win. After the match, Orton stood tall as the furious English looks on. We see Shane, Rude, Nakamura backstage again. We go to replays from the match. Orton hits the corners to pose as the announcers. Hype Survivor Series. Still to come segment. Phenomenal one versus the modern day Maharaja. We see James Ellsworth backstage pacing outside the women's locker room. Tamina Snooker comes out. Ellsworth asks her to get Carmella for him, and she does. Becky Lynch comes out instead and says Ellsworth needs to worry about her, not Carmella. And all this can be found in this link as well. Ellsworth says he doesn't stand a chance because she's a woman and he's a man. Ellsworth hopes Becky doesn't get hurt. Ellsworth says the whole women's revolution is a, is a farce. He goes on and says we're in Manchester tonight. And men are superior in every way. He goes on and says he will prove to Becky that he's a better man. Tonight, Becky says those are some pretty ballsy statements. But it's uh, too bad Ellsworth doesn't have any. Becky walks off as we go to commercial. But that wouldn't be funny. Back from the break, we get more more hype for Survivor Series. We go to ring out comes Tamina with Lana, then Naomi, and Charlotte. They're out to watch the next match. Battle of the Sexes, Becky Lynch versus James Ellsworth. I just like. Music hits and out comes James Ellsworth with Carmella using her theme song. Becky Lynch was out next to a big pop. The bell rings and Ellsworth drops to do push ups. Ellsworth was more stalling as fans sing, Becky's gonna kill you at Ellsworth. Uh, same thing, uh, almost the same way uh, Samoa Joe was a TNA. Becky grabs Ellsworth for the disarmor, but he makes makes it to the ropes for the save. Ellsworth then takes the shirt off. And the birds are flying. They lock up and Ellsworth takes Becky down. Ellsworth mocks Becky and laughs as where's your chin? Chance starts. From the crowd, Ellsworth gets another take down as they trade holds. Becky counters and takes Ellsworth to the top. They break and Ellsworth runs into a kick. More running of the ropes and counters. Becky out wrestles Ellsworth. The more 4-2 count. Becky rolls Ellsworth around Rolls Ellsworth around the ring with her legs. Becky grabs a dizzy Ellsworth and, and spins him around on her shoulders. Becky tosses Ellsworth out of the ring now. Ellsworth makes it back into the ring before the 10 count. He tosses Naomi, Tamina, and Charlotte and Lana now. He turns around and shoves Becky to the mat as fans boo. Ellsworth sends Becky out of the ring at Carmella's feet now. Ellsworth taunts the other female superstars and turns around into a missile drop kick for Becky for a two count. More back and forth with Becky in, in control. Ellsworth goes back to the floor. Ellsworth tries to leave, but the others stop him. Charlotte pushes Ellsworth back into the ring. Ellsworth begs Becky and says he's sorry. Ellsworth tries to hug Becky. She drops him into the disarmor for the win. After the match, other female superstars cheer Becky on as she celebrates. Carmella enters the ring and has word with Becky now. Becky and Carmella look like they're about to ready, ready to fight, but Carmella drops Ellsworth with a super kick instead. A Borgasm, yes, chance starts up from the crowd. 
Carmella's music hits and she leaves with her briefcase all alone. Becky is all smiles in the ring as Ellsworth recovers. Till the come segment. The WWE title will be on the line. We see Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin backstage walking. Usos are also shown back to commercial. SmackDown Tag Team title match. Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable versus the Usos. Can be found on this link. Well, the feed comes out from the uh, dirt sheet uh, reporter as uh, Shelton, hit, Shelton Benjamin hitting pay dirt on Jimmy Uso to send him to the floor. Jay Uso hits Shelton more back and forth, leading to Gable taking out Jay's knee on the floor, then crawling back under the ring. Referee counts that Jay is unable to make it back into the ring due to an injury as Shelton looks on. Fans are booing. Winner. By count out, Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. After the match, Uso is retained as we go to replays. After all, you can't win a title on a count out. Uh, Gable comes in to celebrate with Benjamin as Jimmy checks on Jay at ringside. And now this leads us to a preview of USA Network series Damn Nation, featuring Luke Harper and on the December 5th episode. That's the first I've ever heard of it. Renee Young backstage with AJ Styles. Styles says that the last thing Jenner should do is take him lightly. AJ goes on and says people have been underestimating him his whole life, and he always proves them wrong. AJ says he will prove to everybody why he is phenomenal tonight, and why SmackDown is the house that he built. AJ says that he will slay the beast at Survivor Series. AJ walks off as we go to commercial. In your main event title match, AJ Styles versus Jenner Mahal can be fine on this link. Back for the break, out comes the Singh Brothers on stage. They introduce WWE Champion Jinder Mahal, and out he comes. AJ Styles is out next to a pop. We get formal ring introductions from Greg Hamilton. Jinder takes AJ down first, but the fans are behind AJ. Rallying in for him, they lock up and trade holds again as Jinder goes to the ropes, nails back elbow to the face. More back and forth. Jinder ends up knocking AJ Styles to the floor as we go to commercial. Back for the break, Jinder has AJ down on the mat. Feed goes out again and uh, comes back as AJ blocking Jinder with a boot to send him to the mat. Jinder misses the, misses the corner as AJ looks to make a comeback. AJ unloads with strikes and takes Jinder down. AJ with a running forearm. AJ is fired up now as AJ goes on, but Jinder blocks a suplex. AJ lands on his feet and nails a Ishiguroshi, but Jinder kicks out at two. Jinder tries to position AJ, but AJ counters and delivers a kick to the chest. And then another. Jenner catches the next kick and drops AJ, but misses a big boot. AJ with a quick pin attempt. AJ charges, but Jenner drops him on his face for another close two count. Fan chat for AJ as Jenner makes his, takes him to the top. AJ avoids the superplex and takes out Jenner's leg to send, send him back down to the mat. Styles then rolls Jenner into the half, to the calf crusher. As fans pop, Jinder break, breaks it by slamming AJ's neck into the mat. AJ, AJ goes for the hold again, but Jinder is able to get to the bottom rope to break the hold again. AJ with strikes until Jinder floors him with a clothesline for, for a two count. More back and forth as they go battling again. Jinder takes AJ to the top, but they come back down. AJ sends Jinder to the floor. He nails a phenomenal forearm on, on the floor. Taking out Jinder as AJ clutches his knee. And he brings Jenner back into the ring. AJ Spring boards in and nails the 450, but the Singh Brothers pull Jenner to safety as the fans move. AJ takes out both of the Singh Brothers at ringside. AJ goes to the apron to come back in, but Jenner grabs him. AJ fights Jenner off and Spring boards in, but Jenner goes for the collars. Jenner ends up dropping AJ and go, going for the pin, but AJ gets his foot on the bottom rope. Fans are going wild as Jenner calls for the Colossus again, but the fans move. They go on. And the finish sees AJ nailing the for phenomenal forearm on Jinder for the pin and wins the title. After the match, AJ takes the title and celebrates at the fan pop big time. AJ now goes on to face Lesnar at Survivor Series. AJ celebrates him to go to replays. Spando goes off the air with a new WWE champion. Ship celebrating with fans as Jinder looks on from the ramp. And then there's a, a video of new uh, AJ Champion backstage here at this link with a big win over Jinder Mahal on last week's SmackDown in Manchester, England. 
As uh, AJ says, uh, all he can think about is being two-time WWE, WWE champion and how the people care because he's one of them. When asked how about current w, uh, WWE Universal Champion Brock Lesnar being the last one to capture the WWE title on, on SmackDown more than 10 years ago, AJ says he and Lesnar have a lot of similarities, but there's one difference. He's a SmackDown champion and Lesnar isn't. As noted, Styles vs. Lesnar is now official for Survivor Series. Pay per view, and that concludes my results for SmackDown. I did not, there wasn't, couldn't find any 205 live results from uh, Manchester, England. That concludes my video for, for this week's SmackDown. Thanks again. Peace out. See you on the If you don't know, just call me, brothers and sisters.